My name's Nicholas Wyman, and I'm here to talk about the opportunities that exist post-COVID in the automotive industry to attract, retain, and develop the next generation of skilled employees. One thing that we know is that we have many workers marching into retirement, and there needs to be a way within your organisation to bring in that next generation of workers. And one of the most successful tried and tested models around is apprenticeship. Apprenticeship is one of the Western world's oldest forms of occupational learning. One thing about apprenticeship is it's customizable. So you can set the program as far as duration um, and as far as the elements that you wanna build into that program that suit your business need. It's really important that the program that you run is meeting the needs of not only the industry, but also your specific requirements. There are elements that you do need to build into a successful apprenticeship program. Each apprentice having access to a one-on-one -on -one mentor is something that we know is going to drive retention. Unfortunately, in apprenticeship programs without mentoring, as high as one in two people drop out of the program. And that is actually going to impact your bottom line because you have this investment that you're not going to see through. Why do apprentices drop out? Well, one key reason is that apprentices don't get to see a career ladder. If a, an apprentice can understand where an automotive career can take them in a 21st century shop, they're going to be more likely to stay with your store. There are other key elements that are also important. Choosing the right educational partner. Of course, technology is changing before our eyes and we live in the age of globalisation and technological change. So it's important that we're not only teaching people the skills of today, but also of tomorrow. And one of the ways we can do that is to ensure that we're teaching people about resilience and how to adapt, because we are certainly all seeing the way that the speed of change and technological change is upon us. And we need to make sure that technicians entering the industry are going to be able to adapt to the changing needs of industry. When I talk to you, at the conference, I intend to talk to you about how you can design a program. You can either do it yourself or you can actually engage what's called an intermediary. There are organisations right across the country who'll be able to help you design a program and meet your business needs. I look forward to seeing you at the conference.